hey guys so welcome back to my youtube channel and today i have a very much useful video for you guys now in this video we will talk about the open SUSE installation guide okay so this video will be the guidance for your open SUSE installation and now uh, you know that open SUSE is uh, coming from the SUSE enterprise linux and open SUSE is completely free and open source and this is for the desktop users so if uh, you need a great desktop operating system so here is the open SUSE for you now it has two variations one is lip open SUSE lip uh, this is actually the regular release and uh, it uh, contains a, a long term support kernel and a stable uh, package management okay and what other another is the open SUSE tumbleweed now this is actually a rolling release so you will get always latest uh, softwares and latest uh, technologies with this open SUSE tumbleweed and of course uh, stability is not uh, that much okay uh, of course because uh, softwares are new here so in this video we will talk about that how uh, both of these operating system uh, you can install uh, in your computer okay so first of all you have to download the iso image and just go to the uh, download page of the open uh, home page and this is the page and you can see this is the lip and this is the tumbleweed and uh, in this video uh, i will use the tumbleweed edition so you can you can download the iso and uh, in the download page you are getting many options so uh, most of the cases this is the uh, case okay so amd 64 bit uh, laptop or desktops so you 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 can click download so either you pick a mirror or uh, uh, that is directly you can download the iso image or you can uh, choose the meta link after downloading the iso image you need to make a bootable pen drive so you can uh, use either ventoy or belena eacher or uh, Rafas, uh, whatever uh, your choice is and then uh, first of all uh, make sure that your uh, laptop has the secure boot turned off okay so first of all uh, turned off the secure boot so that you will able to boot the uh, open uh, linux uh, from your pen drive and then uh, using the boot key whatever boot key suppose you have a hp laptop so boot key will be f9 and if you have the uh, lenovo or acer laptops uh, so boot key will be f12 for this video i will use the uefi mode for the installation because all the modern computers has the uefi firmware and uh, i will also uh, give you the instructions that if you want to dual boot that is uh, if you want to keep uh, two or more operating system in your pc uh, with windows or with some other linux distribution so how uh, you will uh, do this now when you uh, boot for the first time uh, from the uh, usb drive so you are getting these options so installation and uh, upgrade so installation is uh, uh, what you have to do right now so just enter there's the loading the drivers and all that now you can see the installer has started and initializing all the things now uh, would you use the online repository so that uh, the updates will also install uh, uh, during the installation so currently i'm choosing no and here the left hand side you can see the one by step by step processes it is going on well now uh, this is your choice okay so this is a great choice for the open SUSE installation so uh, you can install the kde plasma desktop and all its components or you can choose the gnome desktop or you can choose the xfc desktop so most popular three desktop environments you are getting if you need a great customizable desktop and also good looking so you choose kde plasma the forward looking uh, desktop environment it is the of course the gnome and this is simple to use so and if you are looking for a lightweight version so you go to the xfc currently i'm choosing the gnome desktop well now you can see uh, this is the partitioning and uh, now create uh, since i am uh, using in the uh, uefi mode so of course gpt partitions uh, will be there i have to create and uh, uh, by default it creates uh, these partitions you can see one is uh, one partition is for uh, efi file system so the mount point is uh, slash boot slash efi uh, this is of course in uh, vfat format and 512 mb in size and another is the btrfs root file system and another is for the swap partition so these uh, three things uh, it creates automatically uh, so this uh, this is recommended uh, if you 
uh, want to install the OpenSUSE itself and one and only operating system in your PC. But if you have already some operating system and you want to dual booting, okay, so you need to uh, do the manual partitioning. So expert partitioner. Okay, so start with uh, existing partitions. Uh, this is I think for the uh, manual partitioning. Yes, and you can see uh, this is my because I am testing in the virtual box for the recording purposes. And here is the uh, 31 GB space I have allocated. So uh, you can you can create partition. Okay, so you can see uh, this is the add partition. Okay, so custom size. Suppose I'm giving 25 GB okay next and this is i will install the uh, operating system in it and you can see this is the uh, default file system btrfs uh, but also you can uh, use the ext4 for the root partition all right so enable snapshots uh, because snapshots uh, taking uh, is very easy in the uh, btrfs file system and this is the mount point root you can see okay so click next now add another partition and now 6 gb left so i need to create almost 500 mb of partition for the esp partition and this will be my efi boot partition next so of course it is uh, the fat in nature okay so fat 32 and mount point will be slash boot slash EFI. So this is the EFI system partition you can see. Click next. And the third partition. Well of course uh, the, the 5GB of size left and the third partition will be my Linux swap partition. So choose swap. And you can see this is the swap partition. So partitioning is amazing in the OpenSUSE uh, Linux and uh, I really uh, like this interface and th this is amazing. Also you can you can see the release notes of the OpenSUSE release. Okay so these three partitions I have created and accept. Alright so this, this is what I have created and click next. Now I have to choose my time zone. Okay the map is amazing looking yeah and uh, this, I am in India, so this is the Kolkata, my region. Next. And I have to create my username. So, this is my username and password. I am giving. Click next. Okay, so password is too simple, so I have to create. Okay, really use this password, yes. Okay. But you should use a, a good password, okay, a combination of letters, uppercase, lowercase and the special characters. Alright, so this is the summary, you can see. Right, very nice summary it is giving, so GNOME Desktop you are installing. And of course uh, you can later install also the KDE Desktop, no problem with that. So all this information and uh, before the installation process you must check all these information and these are correct and you accept it. Okay, so uh, if you need a dual booting, a uh, special instruction for you that uh, you should have an empty drive and in the empty drive you have to create uh, these three partitions, what I have created now. And then you have to install that. But uh, if you have already some uh, VFAT or FAT32 file system uh, for the EFI partition, then don't delete it. Okay, just assign the uh, mount point slash boot slash EFI, but don't delete that partition because that may contain the bootloader of some other operating system. So that will be deleted and uh, you may face some problem. Okay, some boot related issues. So remember that. Okay, so now uh, install and confirm installation. So confirm. And now the installation has started and all the uh, things what uh, you have choose, uh, it will be installed in your hard drive. So a uh, little bit of time uh, it will require. So I am now pausing the video. This is the login screen of your installed system. And uh, I am now giving my password. And also you can reveal the password from here. Enter. Okay, so this is OpenSUSE, uh, this is a welcome screen and you can see this OpenSUSE tumbleweed 
is with GNOME 45 because this is the workspace switcher you can see here. So this is the GNOME 45 and all these are installed applications. So if this video is helpful for you then share it to your friends and subscribe the channel hit the notification bell icon you can join me on send super thanks. Okay so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye.